like if I may? Take you. Perhaps later. On a strange journey. It seemed a fairly ordinary night ordinary. Mm, when Brad Majors, Asshole. you've met, <laughs> and his fiance, or do you prefer fiance, Janet Weiss? <laughs> mm. Two ordinary, healthy kids. Mm, ish left Denton that late in the memory evening. Left Denton that late in the memory evening. <laughs> to visit a Dr. Everett Scott. <laughs> Ex-science tutor and now friend to both of them. It's true that there were dark storm clouds. <laughs> Heavy, black and pendulous. Curses upon you. <laughs> Towards which they were driving. It's true also that the spare tire they were carrying was badly in need of some air. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but they being normal kids and on a night out, well, they were not going to let a storm spoil the events of their evening. No. <laughs> on a night out. On a night out. It was, no, have it your own way. <laughs> they were to remember for a very, very. Oh, darn, Janet. What was that bang? <laughs> I go for help. But where will you go? We're in the middle of nowhere. I'm coming with you. Besides, darling, the owner of the phone may be a beautiful woman. And There's a You'd better both <laughs> come inside. And um, so, after braving the inclement weather and some not too little time, it seemed that fortune had smiled on Brad and Janet and that they had found the assistance that their plight required. I'm not quite, but we'll find out. <laughs> There was certainly something about this castle to which a flat tire and a wet night had brought them that had made them both feel... Morning. Not what it says here. <laughs> apprehensive and uneasy. But if they were to reach their destination that night, they would have to ignore such feelings and take advantage of whatever help was offered. Wait here. <laughs> the master is having one of his affairs. Lucky old... Hi there. I'm Brad Majors. And uh, this is my fiance, Janet Weiss. I entertain... Uh... Brad Majors. <laughs> Brad Majors. And uh, this is my fiance, Janet Weiss. Weiss. Nice. Enchanté. Mm. What's that mean? How nice. <laughs> you are the result of many hours of toil. And <laughs> A weakling. <laughs> weighing 98 pounds. <laughs> there are those who say that life is an illusion. And that reality as we know it is merely a figment of our imaginations. 
If this is so, then Brad and Janet are quite safe. There are those, however, with a far more physical philosophy, those who would stop at nothing to satisfy their base desires. It could be that Brad and Janet are amongst those who hold the devil's reins. What's happening here? Where's Brad? Where's anybody? <gasps> if only we hadn't made this journey. If only the car hadn't broken down. If only we were amongst friends or sane persons. If and only two small words. Very good. Throw them out. Throw them out. Words that kept repeating themselves again and again in Janet's thoughts. But it was too late to go back now. It was as if she were riding a giant... Oh. I have tidal wave, but cock is better. <laughs> it would be folly to fight against it. Her only chance would be to ride it out, adapt, and perhaps survive. <laughs> Thank you. It's all like some terrible dream. Oh, but my lips were hungry. Too hungry. Yes. There, you see, it's instinctive. You returned here for one thing and one thing only. Sex. Security. It's over. Over? What was over? <laughs> My career, yes. Yeah, actually, um, you're, you're kind of right. It was pretty much dead in the water until I discovered. Thank you. It's got a lovely rise, actually. It's got a lovely rise and a great... Show us... Yes, my bottom is extremely soggy, sir. I'm so sorry. Not the... <laughs> that was such a bad mistake. Not the night. That was certain. Sorry about the front row. You're getting a lot of red velvet. Just spat. I'm sorry. Brad and Janet's engagement. Their love for one another. Who? Sorry. Oh, it's a very rich icing that's going down the throat there. Very rich icing. Let's, let's get back. Let's get back. Their love for one another. Who could say? for questions such as these are not to be answered by the academic. They must be left for the heart to solve. And Brad, you may be sure, had plenty of heart. Oh, but it seems to be made of a metal that is not of this earth. I would say it came from another planet. <gasps> Brad! Janet! Rocky! Darker Scott! Janet! Rocky! Dr. Scott! Brad! Janet! Rocky! Dr. Scott! Rocky! Piss off! <laughs> I knew he was in with a bad crowd, but it was worse than I imagined. <laughs> Aliens! <laughs> and so, by some extraordinary coincidence, fate, it seems, had decided that Brad and Janet should keep that appointment with their friend, Dr. Everett Scott. Gesundheit. <laughs> but it was to be in a situation which none of them could possibly have foreseen. And just a few hours after announcing their engagement, Brad and Janet had both tasted... Brad's I'm sure it would rattle in your mouth, dear. <laughs> Forbidden fruit. This in itself was proof that their host was a man of little morals and some persuasion. What further indignities were they to be subjected to? <laughs> oh. 
And what of the sonic transducer and the floor show that had been spoken of? What indeed? From what had gone before, it was clear that this was to be... I forgot my thermos. No picnic. He was the thorn in his mother's side. She tried in vain, but he never caused her nothing but pain. He left home the day she died. I'd try to die from the day she was gone. Magenta. Magenta.